quarrel, the people and the citizens want this to happen, they can have it happen, and I'll show them how to do it. All new tonight, this Cape Coral man aiming at Mayor Marnie Sawicki, trying to get her booted from office. This push coming weeks after the mayor resolved a domestic dispute involving her ex-boyfriend, who's a city firefighter in the Cape. The mayor claiming she was so afraid of her ex, she missed a city council meeting because of threats she says that he made. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco live at Cape Coral City Hall with more on the effort to have the mayor recalled and how the city is responding tonight. Steph? Patrick, the, the idea for this petition has been brewing for a while now. Now, the guy you're about to hear from tells me that he just wants accountability in his local government. No mercy or second chances for Marnie Sawicki. Jack Mattashoni says he wants the Cape Coral mayor out. If I was her, I'd resign. Okay, I wouldn't even stand for a recall. She's embarrassed this town enough. He's one of more than 50 people who are planning on gathering signatures to submit a recall petition. She lacks the uh, professional boundaries needed for someone in her, her level of, of government. He says interest has peaked ever since hearing about a scandal involving Mayor Sawicki and her ex-boyfriend. She should never have been involved with this firefighter. This is a professional boundary, okay, and that is inappropriate, and in most cases they would be fired for that. The recall process is lengthy with two phases. The first phase requires 5% of registered voters to sign the recall petition, meaning more than 5,000 signatures in 30 days. The second phase requires triple the amount of signatures in a separate 30-day period. She don't want to talk to me because she don't like anybody that criticizes her in any way. Now, some may argue that you're slandering her. What would you say to the people that say that? I'm not slandering her. I didn't say anything, anything that's not public. Jack says the mayor isn't talking, so I went to get her response on this recall in its planning stages. The receptionist tells me Mayor Sawicki is not in the office today and is not available for comment, so we'll be waiting for her response. Meanwhile, I met with the city clerk to find out more about the process. It's complicated uh, to recall an elected official. Complicated, but not impossible. I've not had a recall petition since I've been the clerk. I've been the clerk since 2010. Now, anyone wanting to, to submit this type of recall petition only has 30 days to gather all the required signatures for each phase. So Jack tells me he will be submitting his petition formally in August. Reporting live in Cape Coral, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Stephanie. She laid it out for you. Now we want to hear from you. What do you think about this petition calling for Mayor Marnie Sawicki to be recalled in Cape Coral? 239-206-FOX4, news at Fox 4 now.